Hi guys, it's Brittany here and welcome back to Brittany's Playroom. Today we're going to be doing a speed paint face up. I'm super excited to share this with you guys today. First off, we're going to be using um, our NIOSH OV P95 mask um, and that is to protect you from the sealant because some of these sealants can be very toxic and safety is always first. And the sealant that I'm using today is the Lucas. Um, it is a matte sealant that I purchased off Amazon. I know it's relatively easy to purchase in uh, Europe um, but here you pretty much have to get this online and it was twice the size of MSC and about the same price. Um, the face up that I'm going to be doing for you guys today is on my Akagi doll. He is the Akagi doll Shizai. I think that's how you pronounce it. He is an MSD size doll and I'm super excited to do this for you guys. Um, here I'm just getting my pastels ready and my pencils ready um, to do the face up and also using a little bit of paint with the Liquitex Flow A to thin out that paint to an ink like consistency. Um, here I'm starting off with the acrylic paint and I'm going to do the upper lid of each eye. Um, that's how I like to start off my face ups. So that way that can be drying while I do my lips and my blushing and other areas of the face. So I'm really liking this lip color that I chose for the Akagi doll. Um, it's kind of a peachy nude color. Um, I think it still gives him a boy face up with giving him a little bit of nice color to his lips. Um, I'm also, as you see, going into those nostrils with a little bit of brown uh, pastel. I really like that effect when you do that. Um, and again here I'm going over that upper lid area with some watercolor pencil to kind of clean up where I painted over before. Um, so guys, this is the first time that I've used the Lucas uh, matte spray um, for a sealant. Um, of course, you guys know that before you do your pastels and your pencils and things like that, you have to spray your doll's face with sealant um, with two or three coats to give it some tooth so that your pastels and your um, watercolor pencils and paints and things like that will stick. Um, I've already noticed that I'm having some problems with this sealant. Um, so I'm not sure um, if it's simply because it's the first time that I've used the sealant and maybe I sprayed a little too much um, or if it's just not the sealant for me. Um, but you'll see in the video that I'm going to be going over a lot of areas with a lot of my erasers and Q-tips and even some tissue paper to try to get out some of the splotchiness because for some reason um, my pastels are going on thicker in some areas and then super thin in other areas. So it's a little bit of work uh, to get this face up right with this particular sealant that I chose. Um, and again, it could just be because it's my first time using it, but I am gonna try to save this face up guys. Um, so onward and upward. So again here guys, as I'm blushing my face um, and doing uh, some shadowing, I've noticed that it's still really, really blotchy. Um, the sealant is giving me such a hard time <laughs> with this face up. Um, I'm going over it with erasers and tissue and more eraser um, and then trying to re-blush and re-blush and it's just, 
it's really difficult. I'm having a really difficult time with the sealant. Um, so, but I am determined to try to save this face up, um, if anything, just for the fact that I don't want to do it again. <laughs> so I'm really trying to save it. We'll see how it turns out. So here I'm doing some upper eyelid shadowing and lower eyelid shadowing. Um, I like to do that with my boy dolls, um, but I'm still having major issues with this sealant. Um, my pastels are still going on really grainy and uneven. I'm having a really difficult time blending them. Um, and again, I'm just not sure if it's because it's the, my first time using the sealant and maybe I put too much or not enough or... Um, but it feels extra, extra toothy <laughs> and I'm not having any problems with the pencil, but I'm still having major issues with my pastels. I'm hoping that maybe since he's a boy, um, all of this discoloration will maybe add to some skin texturing. <laughs> I'm not sure, but we're still going to keep going and try to save this face up. And so we'll see how it turns out. Okay guys, so he's still really grainy, but I'm gonna go ahead and finish him off by adding some Tamiya clear acrylic paint to his lips to add a little bit of shine and his upper lids, as well as cutting some eyelashes to fit and then using eyelash glue to apply. So overall, I wouldn't say that this is my favorite face-up that I've ever done, but it was definitely a learning experience. I'm not sure that I'll be using the Lucas sealant again. Um, but again, it was a learning experience and I'm glad that I tried it. 
Um, we don't learn unless we try new things. And I think that I did manage to save this face up somewhat. Um, it'll just have to do for now. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, and I hope that you learned from my mistakes. I love you guys to the moon and back. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.